Well, we're getting ready for a spin on the bay. I'm going to take the uh, stock coil off, put on the 6 inch coil. I just charged the battery up. I got to put the battery back in the CTX. So while I was doing all that, I had some homework, you know. These knives and these cutters, ropers, I mean, uh, pruners, and this one loper doesn't have to go back until Saturday. But since I was started them, I figured I'd go ahead and finish them up. You remember those little carbon steel knives? You remember that great big bad boy? Well, I tell you, she turned out nice. As did the other four. You remember how rusty and cruddy looking they were, right? Well, that buffer I got really does a good job on them with the different wheels. It's amazing. Okay, I got to get to work. What was I going to show you? Something I was going to show you. Oh yeah, I remember that. What we talking about that buffer? I bought a, you know, it's a 10-inch buffer, but I bought an adapter to go on the end of it, and I bought a. Wanted to try this. Uh, this is a nylon bristle brush. You see it? I didn't know how it was going to work, but it really, really works amazingly well on getting the old stuff off the carbon knives. It's unbelievable how well it works. Works good on my arm too. Anyway, these bad boys are ready to go. I got to take this one back tomorrow. That's the reason I worked on it today. And I figured, well, I had all this stuff out. I might as well do them all and be on a holiday after that. I like being on a holiday sometimes. I'm going to pick Danny up in about 10 minutes, I think. Maybe 15 minutes. That all depends on how things go. Big slicer. That other slicer. This is that old cut code knife. This is that big uh, Capilon, Capilon, Capilon chef's knife. Here's a great big old rusty one that she wants me to keep. We bartered this one. We traded this one off. You remember? She's sharp too. Oops. Miss when you want them to be sharp, they're not. She has that other one. Mm. She has that other one. You can see they're really cleaned up nice. For old carbon knife. But they get really sharp. Ah, this bad boy. Gotta go home tomorrow. Hmm, I like it. bad. Okay, I gotta go find some more yellow. Stand by. One more thing before I wrap up on these knives. I did sand the handles down, all the handles down lightly, and put a coating of uh, tongue oil on them. They're drying now. That's why I got them on this towel. Okay, see ya. Damn, the tide is too high. I thought the tide was going to be lower than that today. But at least the waves are better. There's our buddy Gary up there talking to some local fellas. He's, he lives right down the street here. Alright, here we go. Into the land of the cave. Hit mod, not this. I got a hell of a hit right here on the edge, going in. 12, 17. 
probably a full tap. That's a nice, nice hit. And he's got one too, look. Well, we got it on the second scoop. Oh, God, no. Look. Miller Highlight. You turkey. You piece of crap. Oh, Rolex. It's a waterproof watch. Yeah, it's got no uh, it's waterproof. Don't let no water out. Keeps the water in. Right up next to the cave. Twelve oh six, twelve oh six. Scratchy on the edge of it now. I don't know what my 1206 is going to be. Well, we got the scratchy part out, so that's probably the same thing. Just a scratchy thing with a good sound on the side of it or something. I don't know if I like that about it. Well, there's the scratchy thing. It's a square of nut with some rust on it. But I don't see any 06 part. One thing about this thing, it's all plastic. You scan the coil over it. That's all you get. Oh, it's right there. Whatever it is, it might be a little. Maybe it fell out. We got it there, whatever it is. I don't see anything. Because my holes aren't the smallest in the world either. They could fall through this. If it's the right. Oh, I see it. I see it sticking right up through there, I think. It looks like a 22 inside down. Yep. Is it? A little 22. 1209. Come out of there, baby. All right, let's see what we got here. We got three targets piled up here. Uh, what's supposed to be three targets? Let's see what they are. Let's see if we can find them. That could be one of them. Don't have to be, though. Oh, there's one of them. Looks like a penny. I can't tell what kind of penny though. Let's see what else we can find in here. Yep. I don't know if you can see the rocks or not. We're in about uh, 
three foot of water, I guess. But this place is loaded with rocks. And you see them through the waves there? Big ones, little ones. Damn. CPX is stuff right here. We got a 1230. I'm telling what 1230 is. Got it. Let's see if we can find anything else to put in our basket. It's almost like hunting in a swimming pool. I know it. You can see me on the Twelve twenty nine. Clear as day. Twelve twenty nine. Everything's one scoop deep. I like. Wait a minute. We might have something else then. Let me move this rock out of the way. Nope. Must have been that rock when I hit it. Stand by. See what we got in our little basket here. Ah, I think that's one of them. anything more interesting in there. Well, wait a minute. What is that? I don't know what it is. It's a piece of glass of some sort. It's a cool looking little thing. Whatever it is. I'll probably be broke before I get home. Oh, no. There's something else in there. Right there. Sounds good. But damned if I see anything. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Piece of aluminum. Yep, that's it. I could have gone. Look what came out of that scoop. Look at that. Look at that right there. Ah, oh, he. Ah, let's see what else is in there. It's a high tone. I know it wasn't that marble. I don't see no high tone thing unless that's it. Stand by. Hey! Whatever it is, it's right in there, big as life. Oh, damn, there it is right there. You turkey. I thought at first it was one of them ear sizers for your ear, but it don't have any uh, rim on the outside. I don't know what it is now. Doc Beaver showed up. Got him a little sifter now. Everybody's going to Sifter City. Stand by. We got a target we're working on. Let's see if there's anything in here. We'll get this crash out of the way. I don't think there's anything in here, but I, I threw it in here for something. Can't hold it. There's anything in there. All blanks. Come on, there, baby. Well, let's see what we got here. We ought to have a couple targets in here. I'll put three somethings in here, I think. I think I see one of them already. One of them was that, probably that right there. Ah, uh -huh, there's one of them. Let's see if we see anything else in here. See no marble. I hear a no. Well, I reload. 
okay, is it? But it must be a little. I just get a hit every now and then. It's like a piece of aluminum that the wave the waves move around. There it is right there. Good thing the water is good and clear today. I think we just missed it the first time. You couldn't have got this deep that fast. Now we got another sound. A louder sound. Stand by. I had a big worm in this area, you see. Look at him. Come out of there, he said. Ooh, ah, ah. Get back in that hole there, boy. That's right. Get back in the sea. See what this is. There's a lot of little fish around my feet. I don't think he'll, he'll last too long. That boy won't. Somebody will be eating him right now. If he hadn't already been eaten. I don't see anything. Wait a minute, maybe that's it. I have to check that. Put that over there in the corner. I don't see anything else in here. Sounds good. Let's see what we got here. I thought I saw a nice piece of glass. Blue glass. You can see it now. I know it couldn't have fallen through. But there is something making a noise. That's what it is. Whatever that, that whatever that is is what the noise is. See that glass up there. That, there it is. Blue glass. And I hook in a hook and aggie. Uh, something else in there says. Something else is in here. Just look around right here. See a damn thing. Yes, I do. There it is right there. Okay. Yep, that's it. we got a clear bill of health now. Move on. I think we're going to move to the other beach. I'm headed that way now. But we got to go by truck. I'm going to make a quick pass on this side of the cave first. And then we're going to hit the road. If there's nothing here, I mean. Nice clear water, I like it. Stand by. Six twenty nine, we're making a move to the other beach for a few seconds. I think Beaver took off, that's where he was headed, so we're gonna join him since he joined us. Stand by. We headed east about five or six blocks. Ah, nice clear water here too. I like it. Like Florida. Mmm. Rocks everywhere. You see them? Ooh. Nice. Stand by. Well, I've been here 20 minutes and got one penny. Damn the bad luck. I should have stayed where I was. 
it was a little better there. We got a probably 15 more minutes. We'll try it. It's getting dark, you see. It's, all the sunlight is trying to leave us, and we're not equipped for a night hunting tonight. Okay, I'll get back to you. Come on, I guess. See, he found a whole set of keys. A little chain on it. A bullet. <laughs> I got a bullet like that too for a key thing. But mine's only a little bullet. Mine's an M16 bullet. Looks like odds. Okay, we got the roundup. I can make out Lacera or some kind of word at the top. But half of it's messed up because you can't see it for the paint missing. But you got some ice on her. A 40 weedy. I can't make out the date. This is another weedy. You saw the marble. The best of it. One piece of gray matter. Now what's it? And that's the best of it right there. Tomorrow, I don't know, but we'll have to see how it goes. The tide's going to be late, right at dark, so I don't know. I don't know. The boys that went here and there today, Denada and Buck Row, bleak. Sanded in, mushy. So we got to go back to the bay. Like I said, I guess this, well, this can't be a earlobe thing because they don't have a back on it. Unless it's got a piece that hooks onto that some kind of way. Cause I've never seen an earlobe ring like this if that's what it is. Man, it's a nut, stainless nut. Another nut. And a nut with the camera. Okay. I found the clamshell the other day at the land of Nala. I, just, I mean, the sand bridge. No, where were we? At uh, where the helicopters were. I just forgot to put it in the picture. It was in my pouch. I was wondering why my damn pouch was so heavy. I looked in there and there's that big old clamshell still in there. Okay. Something will happen tomorrow. I hope. Stand by.